Comparisons across generations are impossible and often unfair to the player who's still in the arena. As of, for instance, seven years into Michael Jordan's NBA career, he beat Magic and the Lakers to win his first of six titles. To make an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, LeBron, seven years in, just lost to the Celtics in the second round. And the clock is ticking towards July 1st when he could head to any number of cities more suitable to becoming a global icon. Michael Wilbon on What Now? Not even in Cleveland, where they know plenty of sporting anguish, did anybody expect an ending like this. With the two-time MVP LeBron James and the Cavaliers, the team with the game's best record and serious designs on a championship, being dumped in the second round of the NBA playoffs. If Cleveland's hopes of keeping LeBron were tied to winning a title or at least reaching the NBA Finals, those hopes, too, may very well take a hit. I don't hang my head low or make excuses about anything that may be going on uh, because that's just not the type of player and the type of person I am. The speculation on what happens next has already started. The impresario Jay-Z is recruiting him to play for the Nets, ultimately in Brooklyn. That he can go to New York and save the New York Knicks. That John Calipari might coach LeBron in, of all places, Chicago. That Pat Riley wants him in Miami. That even the Los Angeles Clippers, with all of that salary cap room and some pretty good players, would be a better place for him to pursue a title. And losing like this, the reasoning goes, simply makes it easier for LeBron, now a free agent, to close the first chapter of his career, the Cleveland chapter, to seek the happy ending elsewhere. Worst whole playoff loss in Cavaliers history. Certainly there was nothing noble about the stunning way the Cavaliers went out. It didn't happen in the finals against Kobe and the defending champion Lakers, or even in the conference finals against Dwight Howard in Orlando. The Cavaliers were taken out by the Celtics, a team thought to be too old and past its best days. Most of the responsibility for this failure will fall on LeBron James. Because in pro basketball, the buck stops with the superstar. The NBA Finals, whether the league likes it or not, now has to share the rest of the spring with free agent speculation. The A-listers are too high profile to hold off that discussion. From LeBron to Dwayne Wade to Chris Bosh to Carlos Boozer, Joe Johnson, and perhaps Amari Stoudemire and Dirk Nowitzki. It should be the most frantic summer in the NBA since 1996, when Shaquille O'Neal, then approaching his prime, left Orlando for Los Angeles. At the head of the class now is LeBron, who will begin next season perhaps in a completely new jersey, and definitely still looking for a championship ring, still looking for that happy playoff ending, one that a great many basketball observers thought he should have written by now.